Well, welcome back to Studio 10. And once again, happy International Women's Day. And to help us celebrate women right here in our community and, of course, across the state, we have Carolyn from the Michigan Women Forward joining us now on Studio 10. Welcome. Thank you so much. You know, every day should be International Women's Day, right? I Absolutely. agree. I, I would agree. agree more. <laughs> yeah, I think we should have more of these. Maybe we need one a week. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Are one you ready? To okay, I like that. Okay. Yeah. Well, first, you know, Carolyn, you are part of Michigan Women Forward. So can you just tell us a little bit about, you know, your organization? I know you're the only public statewide foundation that's devoted to the economic and personal well-being of, you know, women and girls all across the state. Can you just tell us a little bit more about your mission? Our mission is really to make sure that women have economic equality mm -hmm. um, with men mm -hmm. and anyone else out there yeah. um, because really women have not had the opportunity to create wealth for themselves in the same way that men have. And so we're trying to uh, level that playing field. And the other thing we do really well, I think, is celebrate women. Yeah. We, every day, we try to make sure that we are finding and celebrating and lifting up women and finding ways to help each other. Yeah, more so, reasons why we need to talk about this every single day and every that's week. That's right, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So let's start off with talking about how you really do level out that playing field because you kind of help with the tools and the initiatives to financially help mm -hmm. support women and kind of helping them, you know, create women-owned businesses. You know, talk us a little bit about like the microloans that you're able to help out with that. Well, we're an alternative lender. Often women cannot go to the bank and get money to start or to grow a business. Um, those avenues are close to them, even though they have a great idea, yeah. they really know what they're doing, um, we all want to buy their, their wares, um, but they just can't access capital. Mm -hmm. And so we started a micro lend lending program about eight years ago. First of all, it was just from philanthropy. And then now we've taken on SBA micro lending. Wow. We've taken on, uh, we've become what's called a CDFI, mm -hmm. uh, a community development financial institution, which is kind of like a quasi bank, but we don't have the same rules as banks. And so we can lend to women throughout the state of Michigan. We actually have an office here in Lansing mm -hmm. and, and we'd love to, uh, to do more lending to, um, to women who, who really want to get a start a on, on building their own personal wealth, which is kind of how we've done it mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the United States. That's awesome, Carolyn. And you know, something you said that I, I really like that you said that there's not enough access. I think people kind of think, okay, you know, we're, we're far into, uh, you know, we're in the 2000s, we're in the new millennium, that these kind of barriers that existed a while ago, people don't right. realize that they're still here yeah. in, our, yeah. in our nation today. So something that you guys have coming up is a mid-Michigan -Mich virtual pitch competition. Right. Can you tell us about that? I'd love to. <laughs> Pit, you know, pitch competitions are so much fun. Yes. You know, you, si you see Shark Tank. Well, we're not like Shark Tank. <laughs> we're kind of the kinder, gentler uh, okay. tank. Yeah. And, and we actually end up getting money to women it's donated mm -hmm. money and so we give away the money to women who win the pitch competitions who come in first second third and um, then we have an audience participation so everybody can oh, call wow. in or write in yeah. um, or, or uh, you know get get their vote in to uh, and we award them money because we uh, often people don't have you know, a pile of money in the bank mm -hmm. that they're just waiting to start their business. So yeah. this gives them that that initial capital yeah. that uh, they don't have. We have that we're having one in um, in Mid Michigan here mm -hmm. um, tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow, so please go to our website and um, sign up. Uh, for uh, we have a YouTube connection that that you can watch it on YouTube. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. um, and then they'll um, and then we have one in Detroit. We have had one last weekend in Grand Rapids, and yeah. we're going to have a statewide food one. Oh. there's nothing women like more than food. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and so so it, you, we're going to be able to actually do this one in person, so you can taste everything that you're voting on. Oh. That is so wow. special and Ooh. so important. Yeah. And I know you kind of mentioned this in the beginning too. How you know in your name it's. Um, um, you know, Michigan women forward. forward. That's and so right. you're also, we also take time to celebrate the women of the past and the present sure. and uh, through Women Up and uh, celebrate events. And I know you have a few kind of going up right now. Briefly tell us a little bit about that uh, and where people can find more information. The most important, important thing we can do is remember those women who went before us mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they, you are here because of women who were the first, the first in these chairs. Yeah. And, um, and I'm here because 
I stood on the shoulders of women who came before me, mm -hmm. and they were the first ones around a table full of men. Mm -hmm. And so this is really something that is near and dear to my heart. Oh. And so every year, we find women in various communities. We're gonna do one this year in, in Battle Creek. We'd like to do one here in Lansing. Yes. So we need your, your listeners to, to call in and say, here's somebody mm -hmm. that is doing great things, has done great things, or is a historical person. Yeah. Um, and then we also have the Hall of Fame. Yes. Yeah. That, um, that the Michigan Women's Hall of Fame is, is something that we are very, very proud of. Mm -hmm. And every year we induct um, some great women from the past yes. who have done things that you simply, you know, that you, you don't even know mm -hmm. that they do. And then some of them, like Serena Williams, you know exactly yeah. why, <laughs> yeah. you know why know she's she there. Is. That's right. You know why she's there. <laughs> but then but then there are other women who was like the first woman uh, who, who got a job in the, in, in the state, at the state of Michigan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And um, she was the first civil servant. She, she ran a lighthouse after mm -hmm. her husband yeah. died. Yeah. And, I mean, things like that that are just yeah. so phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And Carolyn, thank you you so much like you said you know a lot of women are the first and clearly and hopefully that we won't be the last yeah so thank not you at so all. much